Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome to my little garage in Japan. Today, we're going to be checking out a game called Apex Point, and this one has been in development since 2018. I've been following it for a while now. It just came out. Uh, it still very much is in development, but I think it's a good time to kind of showcase this one now because it looks fantastic, and I'm super excited for another open-world driving game. So, yes, this game is... I would say mainly about racing, but you can do other things like delivery missions to earn some money. I actually don't know much more of what you can do, so I'm super excited to explore this world today and see what else we can find. And yes, this is our first vehicle. We were given 1.5 million yen and this beautiful thing. And I kind of love everything about this because I definitely do want to start with trying some delivery missions out, seeing if they're very lucrative. Because yes, don't get me wrong, a racing will be fun, but I don't think we're going to be winning any races with this thing, at least for right now. As you can see, there's percentages on everything, so everything does degrade. Uh, you can control some of this stuff. Where even is the engine? Whoa! I didn't expect that. All right, so there's my very massive engine. Yep, uh, not the most impressive, but I would do love that. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, let's close this. Let's, how the hell do I close the, the cabin? <laughs> All right, maybe we should use the lift instead of just opening up the truck. So, yes, you can work on these things. The great thing about this game, in my opinion, though, is the actual work doesn't take a lot of time. It's very, very simple. You can simply just click things to take them off, and then you can repair them, replace them, do whatever you want. Uh, so I'm going to actually take off everything and repair anything that's quite low. I don't know if we'll mod this just yet. I would like to explore first to see how this thing is. But yes, if you are a fan of tuning, this game definitely is extremely impressive. Uh, and yeah, I do like the fact that I don't... Whoa, just spins? Did I do that? All right, well, clearly the bearings are good, but yes, uh, they're really... It's very fast, uh, to mod things in this game, which in my opinion is a good thing, because too many games focus on screwing in every little bolt and everything, and sometimes you just want to mod cars quickly, in my opinion. All right, so it looks like I just can't take off the fuel tank for whatever reason. That's all right, it's at 96%. My frame is at 96% as well, so everything else is more or less fine. Can I not take off whatever this is? Oh, I think that's still part of the frame. Okay, so now that we have it off, we can actually go into our list here, and it'll show us all our percentages on everything that we just took off. So I'm going to say anything below, like, I don't know, 70%, we should probably fix. Again, I don't know how long we'll keep this truck, but I'm assuming we will keep it for a while because uh, it will be great for delivery missions. I don't think there's any bigger of trucks. All right, so I spent about 100000 on repairs, a little more than that, actually. I think I'm happy with that. So what we're going to do now, it's easy, even easier to um, put things back on. You just click these until you can essentially put them on. And yeah, we'll build the whole car for you. All right, and there we go, just like that. We are good to go. It's that simple when it comes to modding. So yes, I guess if you do repair it, you still have to deal with the rusts that are on the things because I believe I did do some of the body work. So let's actually, um, let's head over to the paint booth. I believe, yeah, that's right here. And can we de-rust this thing? Or is it just going to paint it with rust? What color do I want? That's the question. I'm going to go for this nice blue. I do like blue. And the rust is still there. So I guess we have to buy whole new pieces if we want to get rid of the rust. Let's keep the tradition alive. We're going to keep one door uh, a different color just to annoy some of my viewers. If you know where that's from, <gasps> you know. And we can actually dyno this thing. I'm very curious how good this thing is. So let's put it on the dyno and see how much horsepower this little thing has. All right, so turn it on and get it going. Oh, wait. It reset my controls i changed the controls because they were annoying and it reset them all oh that's annoying okay well that's fine we will just uh have to redo this real quick all right now we should be good so we are going to test this thing out and go full throttle right away oh it's it's not going very fast so i could be wrong but it looks like it has a grand total of 28 horsepower that's that's actually worse than i expected <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is not going to be a speed demon, but that's okay. So let's take it out for its actual first test flight or drive. It's not a damn plane. All right, let's go explore the world. So, ooh, okay. I didn't expect to actually spin the wheels here. So we do have different views. I will say the coolest thing about this game is the actual driving feels fantastic. Uh, I do not have a steering wheel, but I feel like with a steering wheel, this would be really, really nice. 
All right, and yeah, as you can see, we have a bunch of things on the map. I'm just trying to figure out how to get out of my massive... Why do I have such a big parking area? Uh, is there an exit over here? I mean, there is a highway, so... Oh, this is an exit right here. I can't even see. There's actually, it looks to be a delivery mission right here, so maybe we should try that to see what that's all about. Oh, look, I even have a Stig in here. Hello, Stig. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, 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 okay. I mean, this thing might not be fast, but it's still hard to control. <laughs> All right, so it looks like the missions are quite basic right now. There's a certain spot you go to and then press F. We got delivery job one and we are loaded up. Now there's only one thing on my map. I'm assuming that's where we need to go. Okay, okay, coming in hot. There we go, just drifting. We are in Japan after all, so I feel like it's normal to drift on the roads. So we're gonna do an e-brake over this. My, my e-brake didn't work. My e-brake didn't work, oh God. Okay, why didn't my e-brake work? Oh, it did, it just sucks. <laughs> I hope this was worth it. It actually didn't take me too long. So even if we don't get much, these things might be pretty decent. And 27,710 yen. I guess that's good. I, I only spent 100,000 on mods. So four deliveries and then we basically paid off our vehicle. I wonder if we get more the more we do. Oh, it's the same job. All right. Well, I don't want to do the same job twice. Let's go see what this thing is. This just looks like a stoplight. Uh, maybe it's like a vehicle test track or something. F for more details. Oh, it's a drag race. Well, I'll use all 30 horsepower, whatever the hell I have, and we'll try it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. 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 Here we go. Oh, I, <laughs> I did double gears. That probably wasn't a smart idea, but that's all right. Oh, God. I thought I'd be racing somebody. You know what? I don't think you want to race anybody in this thing. My God, I can't even get full throttle in my fourth gear. I mean, we are going 95, 96, though, with 28 horsepower, whatever this is. That's better than expected. And across the line, 0 to 100 kilometers at 22.63 seconds. Oh, yeah, we could definitely upgrade this thing. I gained money for that? Who's paying me to, to watch that? All right, well, I guess even losers get money in this game. <laughs> I am not going to complain with that. I'm curious to see how much we'll get later when we actually mod this thing or buy a whole new vehicle. So yes, this isn't the only vehicle, by the way. There's actually quite a few. Speaking of other cars, I believe this is the dealership here. Excuse me, sorry. Just want to go in and check out what kind of cars we have. And out back, I believe the cars are randomized. Oh, we got the beautiful Toyota 86 over here. Probably what I'm going to buy first. So yes, I believe you get like three random cars every time you come here and they are totally randomized, it, it looks like. Uh, man, this thing needs some work. And just looking at the pricings, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be getting a car anytime soon. So we might just want to mod my old van a little bit to see if we can maybe race with this thing. I can sell it for 500000 though. Better than I thought. All right, so we're going to head back to the garage and see if we can maybe mod this thing a little bit so we can actually do a race. Uh, cause yeah, I don't even want to try a race right now with this thing, but let's actually check the parts that we can buy with this. Now, the cool thing is, I believe whatever car you have in your garage, uh, the list just shows parts for that car. So it's really easy to just, even if you don't know anything about cars, just buy what, whatever the hell you want. So yeah, we got body parts, engine parts, and you can buy pretty much a whole engine as you can see. Oh, you know what this thing needs? Uh, being that it goes so damn fast, we need those aerodynamics. So we're going to buy a roof wing. We'll get a body kit too. Side skirts, rear lip. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm buying. Being that my handbrake didn't even work. You know what? We have to get the samurai grip handbrake. That That's just that's just needed. And you know we need spacers. So front right, we're, all, we're obviously going to go 75 mil all the way around. All right. Now, hopefully these all just go on really easily. Mount bed V2 first. Oh, I need bed V2. Okay, well, at least it tells me. So I need all V2 for this. So we'll put these on, though. <laughs> Look at it, made it work. <laughs> you should not have spacers on this thing. I thought it'd be a little bit wider, if I'm honest. So goodbye, old bed. Hello, new bed. I'm spending all my money on this stupid van. I didn't even buy any, like, engine parts. You know, the things that would actually help. I just want it to look cool. Whoops, what did I just do? I, oh, I <laughs> took off my headlight. My bad. All right, so we got to demount the old bed. Goodbye. Nope, that's not the bed. That's the bed. And bed V2. Where the hell is it? Where, where, where did it go? Oh, there it is right there. Oh, maybe we can hold more now? That'd be cool. I think I don't have the back gate as well. And no, I don't. Oh, my God. Okay, so I need to front find the front 
um, arrow and then the back gate. And I think that's pretty much it. <laughs> oh, I love this. There we go. Uh, we got our steering wheel. We do need our new handbrake. Uh, we are, we are, we're, we're going to be broke. Like, <laughs> why did I decide to mod this thing? It was perfectly fine. All right. I think it's good to go. I hope. So I guess the one thing we'll do now is paint. Um, what? Why is it still blue? I want yellow. What? What the hell? Uh, so there's got, there's got to be a way to save your color. I don't really know how. I actually want a more yellow yellow. Actually, this is as yellow as it goes, isn't it? Oh, I just realized we have different types of paint. We can go for matte. That actually might look nice. Gloss, metallic. Let's just see the difference. Oh, yeah. You can definitely see the difference now. Chrome. Oh, chill. Chill. Okay, so chrome can only be chrome, obviously. A whole chrome car might look cool, but I think we're just going to go for gloss. I'm, I hope I'm not spending money doing this. All right. And honestly, there was way too much yellow going on. I don't really like this, but I mean, it's kind of a joke car anyway. So I added some black uh, body work and overall, I'm happy with that. Do we want to black out this? Yeah, that just adds to it. I feel like I need a license plate, but I don't have one. So I'm not too worried about it. Garage and... There is my new car. Let's take it for a test drive and go earn some money because I just spent freaking millions on this. All right. Well, I have to say, uh, yeah, spending all my money on aerodynamics and not engine parts make it essentially exactly the same. But at least I'm driving in style now. Oh, God. Oh, God. This thing's... <laughs> I swear this thing feels faster, but I don't think I changed one engine piece, did I? Anyways, uh, doing the exact same delivery mission again. Just seeing if we get a new one. There might only be one delivery mission in this game right now. Yeah, delivery job one. Kind of a bummer. But again, we're at this game very early. And right now, the game is really just all about modding those vehicles. All right, so I got a small loan of $5 million. Only because the game ate a bunch of my money and I'm mad now. So, uh, yes, I can mod games. I know, I, I know how to do basic modding. Go me. So yeah, I'm just very curious how much you can mod the other cars because it's really impressive the amount you can mod. What is going on? I get random cars. I get two of the exact same cars. Even the same color. I mean, this one's a little nicer. Uh, but yeah, I really want to buy a new car and I just want to see what other cars they have in this game. So yes, unfortunately, you have to do this and head back. And every time there is random cars. So sometimes you get good ones. Sometimes no. Ooh, hello, muscle car. Didn't expect to see you. Why, why, why is the Toyota 86 opened up already? Ooh, that looks clean. All these look clean, actually. But yes, I was looking for a clean Toyota 86. I don't think we're going to get much cleaner than this. What's the mileage on this thing? 167,000. I mean, yeah, it's got a few miles in it, but any 1985 car is going to. And yeah, this just looks so clean. So hopefully we don't have to change much. Looking to be mostly about 70%, which is fine to me. I don't, I don't need a perfect car. I just want something that's somewhat fast. So I am the proud owner of a Toyota 86 now. Let's uh, see if this thing even runs. Oh, oh, listen to it. Look at the exhaust shake. Dude, this game, again, when it comes to the driving, that's really wh why you buy this game. But I wonder if you could see the engine move. All right, let's just put it in gear. Try it out a little bit. Oh, yes. Oh, and doing what the Toyota 86 does best. Drifting, baby. Oh, wow. I can actually drift it in this game? I mean, obviously, I'm in gear one. Let's chill out a little bit. Oh, this is so cool. I have to say, I've played quite a few driving games, and not many feel as good as this. I love the old high-tech digital 80s dash, too. God, this thing just feels like the 80s, and I am all for it. The detail, too, though, like, it's just fantastic. I truly feel like this feels like the starting of BMNG, except, obviously, BMNG focuses on destruction. I feel like this game is going to focus more on modding. Speaking of modding, we do have to, you know, maybe mod this a little bit. So I don't even know what I want to do to this thing. Do I want to make it look like the initial D car? Do I want to do my own? I'm not too sure, but I'm going to take everything off, repair anything that needs a little bit of work, and maybe add a turbo or something if we can. That, that would be nice. Or some moddable suspension. I didn't actually show you guys that. But if you use the little screwdriver here, any part that is customizable, you can customize. So I can change the PSI, I believe, if I do this right. So yeah, you can totally mod suspension, PSI, ECUs, things like that. Um, so yeah, you can mod the cars as well quite a bit. 
I don't know if we'll get into too much of that today, but just wanted to show you guys that. All right, so yeah, let's just actually, I don't know how I'm going to do this, but I just want to see what kind of um, things this has. So looks to be quite a bit more than the other one. We can get like roll cages and everything, which is really, really cool. All right, so uh, I honestly, I did want to mod this a bit, but I'm kind of overwhelmed. I'm very much a car guy that knows the very basics. So um, yeah, I could probably mod this, but you know what? This episode's getting quite long anyway. So the only thing I really want to do is maybe throw a turbo on this and see if that helps maybe change the wheels as well. But yeah, we can already mod this slightly, for example, with the ECU. So let's open up that and see if we can change the red line. So limiter RPM is at 7,500 RPM right now. Let's up that, make it fun and make it loud. We'll go to 8,400 idle RPM. I don't know if it's smart to up this or not, but we'll just confirm that. And yeah, I know nothing about modding, but I'm having fun. Uh, PSI, why is this one at 19? I believe they were at 30 before. Oh, look at that. Even the detail, if you do up the PSI, uh, they do expand out a little bit. So we'll keep it around 30. I feel like that's probably safe. All right, so we're going to buy a nice aftermarket muffler, uh, just because that should be an easy change. Again, we might do a whole engine rebuild if you guys do enjoy this, but right now, I just want to see if I can throw a turbo on this. I don't even know if I can. All right, so we got top mount turbos. We need a turbo header as well. Let's just search turbo and that should hopefully pop up everything. Bottom mount turbo, interesting. So I'm assuming if I do the top mount, I might need a new hood, but I want to showcase that turbo and have it popping out of the hood. So I definitely do want a top mount. Um, turbo throttle body. I don't know if I need that, but we'll buy that just in case. I'm rich. All right, so goodbye stock muffler. Hello, fancy AP muffler. There we go. Love the uh, blued metal. That looks really cool. Now, do I just press these and it goes on? Oh, I need a cylinder head. So I, I probably need to do a whole engine change, don't I? See, I, I don't know anything about this, but the game tells me what, what I need. So this shouldn't be too bad. Is this done? This probably isn't done, is it? I don't know. Let's just try it out and see what happens. Oops. <laughs> Holy crap. Did I get it? Nope, nope. Hold on. Okay. Okay. I thought I didn't get it. Look at me. Why, why is it not in freaking neutral? Hold on. What, the, what, what just happened? All right, hold on again. Oh, come, okay, hold on. Come on. There we go. There we go. All right, it's in neutral now. Oh. Dude. Oh, my God. Okay, this is too much power. Look at the freaking backfire. Put it in gear. Oh, we got probably crappy tires on this thing, but I got a turbo now. I'm going to do the best deliveries ever. Just kidding. I want to actually go try this thing out of like a drag strip or something. Uh, probably won't be too good because, yeah, with my with my crappy tires, it can't handle this horsepower. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I don't know if it should be backfiring that much. Actually, before we go, we got to get the Toyota 86 vibe out. We have to go all white. I mean, it doesn't really look like it. I know there was like black accents on the Toyota 86. Why can't I paint the wing? Ah, oh, whatever. I don't care. Okay, I'm starting to worry. <laughs> there might be something wrong with this. I mean, backfiring is cool, but it, it, it's, it sounds like I'm in a freaking war zone right now. And obviously, as you can probably tell, not the easiest thing to control. That's kind of what happens when you focus only on horsepower when it comes to modding. All right, let's try the drag out. I think last time we got, what, 30 seconds? Let's see if we can beat that. Spoilers, we probably can if we don't crash it. All right, right in the th gear three. Oh my God. Okay, hold on. Okay, 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 okay. I mean, this thing is not designed to go in a straight line. It's meant to swerve. And it's, okay. <laughs> I can't, I can't control it. God damn it. Oh, the 222 of the uh, turbo. Fantastic. This is so cool. Oh, please, please keep it straight. I can't really go fast at all. There we go. All right. I seem to have enough drag or aerodynamics now to be stuck to the ground. And look at that, 236. Didn't even get it up to full throttle. That's a little bit better. But yeah, obviously this thing is not kitted out. My God, the backfiring is annoying, by the way. <laughs> this thing is not kitted out to go in a straight line. All right, guys. Well, I think that's a good time to wrap up this episode of Apex Point here. I just wanted to show you the physics of this game more than anything else. And yes, if you are a fan of tuning cars, I think this is one of the better ones out there.
and it just came out it very much is still in development so i'm super excited to see where this game goes if you guys want to see more on the channel let me know in the comments below maybe we'll completely rebuild this thing check out some of the other cars as well uh yeah if you guys enjoy watching it and yeah we didn't even get into any racing or drifting today so there's still more we can do but yeah i am super impressed with this game if you are just a fan of driving this is definitely one for you so yeah as always guys thanks for watching and liking and i'll see you in the next one